My name is Michael Ball. I'm a retired member of the Putnam County Sheriff's Department. I've been asked to read a message from James O'Neill, Fraternal Order of Police President of the Stephen Driscoll Lodge. I regret that I am unable to attend George Borkowski's announcement for Putnam County Sheriff. Judge Borkowski is a member of the Fraternal Order of Police, and I've known him personally for quite some time. Judge Borkowski is well known in law enforcement circles and has a solid reputation amongst police officers. He has 20 years of experience as a judge and a prosecutor and has handled many serious criminal cases. With his varied experience, Judge Borkowski is well qualified to be the sheriff of Putnam County. I congratulate Jim Borkowski on his candidacy as sheriff and wish him the best of luck. James O'Neill, Fraternal Order of Police. Good afternoon. My name is Dan Sisto, second vice president of the New York State Troopers Police Benevolent Association. My organization represents approximately 6,000 members, just shy of 6,000 active and retired state troopers in New York State. Those troopers who are still active patrol the highways and the roadways of this community, protecting it on a daily basis, and the rest of those in Putnam County. Over the past 10 years, our troopers have had the opportunity to work closely with Judge Porkowski in an everyday handling of cases from arraignments through trials to sentencing, putting the necessary people who deserve to be there sometimes in jail. We believe that Judge Borkowski was a tough, no-nonsense judge, having devoted his career to criminal justice and public safety, and he is well qualified to be the Putnam County Sheriff. Judge Borkowski holds over 20 years experience in criminal justice, serving as an assistant district attorney, on occasion a special prosecutor, and for the last 10 years has been a criminal court judge in the town of Southeast in this county. As judge, he was fair. If you were a drug dealer, a burglar, a criminal legal alien, a domestic abuser, or any other person that poses crime to this community and a danger to, to its citizens, he was the last judge you'd want to stand in front of to account for your actions. But at the same point, he was always fair. Later this year, the citizens of this county will be tasked with having to choose a sheriff, which is the highest ranking elected official uh, police officer in this county. It's important to keep in mind that although he has not served as a police officer in the past, Judge Borkowski offers a unique perspective to the position of sheriff. As a sheriff, you're not actually expected to make the traffic stops in the middle of the night, nor make the physical arrest of the bad person. Unfor unfortunately, that isn't something that usually the sheriff has the time to do, as he is too busy handling the agency as a whole. However, he does have to have one piece of, of experience and, and one aspect about his personality that matters more than anything else, and that's the quality of leadership. It's much more it's an effective sheriff <clears throat> you have to have that and be a leader of the, of the men. A strong leader will inspire his agency to perform at its highest levels. He invokes confidence and commitment to the task at hand and he will become an icon of what is good and just about his agency. James Borkowski has already distinguished himself as an icon in this community through his prior service. His varied experience within the law enforcement community offers him a unique view <clears throat> of the challenges that will face the Putnam County Sheriff's Department and law enforcement in general in the coming years. We are confident that James Borkowski is the leader and has what it takes to be sheriff. The New York State Troopers PBA is proud to give its strong endorsement to Judge Jim Borkowski for Putnam County Sheriff. If you liked him as a judge, you're going to love him as the sheriff. I'm proud to introduce to you the next sheriff of Putnam County, James Borkowski. Dan, thank you very much for the Troopers endorsement. It's great to know that the New York State Police are behind me. I appreciate it. I'd like to thank my wife, Linda, and my daughter, Lauren, for being here today. I'm here to announce this afternoon that I'm running for sheriff of Putnam County. I want to share a very important statistic about crime in Putnam County, which recently came to light. From September 2007 to September 2008, general crime in Putnam County rose an astounding 26%. Let me repeat that statistic for you. General crime in Putnam County rose 26%. DWIs, driving while intoxicated, rose even more. DWIs through that same period rose 34%. And this cannot be written off to being uh, symptomatic of our economic downturn because these statistics were taken and compiled before the economic crisis hit our country. So why is it that we have this crime wave in Putnam County? It's not because of the rank and file of the Putnam County Sheriff's Office. We have dedicated deputies, we have dedicated sergeants, captains, who go out there every day and work hard to protect, protect our community. 
The reason is because we have a failure of leadership at the Putnam County Sheriff's Office. For want of leadership, we have a Sheriff's Office in turmoil, with experienced deputies leaving all the time, and those deputies who remain looking for new, more in-touch, more competent leadership at the Sheriff's Office. In fact, because so many experienced deputies have left the Sheriff's Office in recent years, fully half of the Putnam County Sheriff's Office Road Patrol consists of rookies, deputies with one year or less of experience. In fact, on some shifts, every single deputy on the road keeping us safe in Putnam County is a rookie, a deputy with less than one year's experience. It's no wonder that the morale at the Sheriff's Office is at zero or less. And as a result, our public safety has been compromised. The problem's not with the rank and file. We need a new sheriff. As a judge, I've worked closely with the deputies. I've worked closely with the New York State Police. I've worked closely with the police in the town of Carmel, in the town of Kent, in the village of Brewster. I've worked with the MTA police. I've worked with the Environmental Conservation Law Police. I know police work and I know police in Putnam County and the police know me. That's why I'm so proud that the rank and file of the New York State Police have given me their endorsement and their vote of confidence because they believe that I have what it takes to be the next sheriff of Putnam County. The troopers know that it doesn't take a cop to be a sheriff. Rather than being a cop, a sheriff needs to be a well-rounded law enforcement professional, someone who has comprehensive knowledge of the entire criminal justice system, all the way from investigation to arrest to trials to hearings, all the way to putting people in jail. And I put people in jail. It's no wonder that judges are naturals to lead police agencies. In fact, three of the last four directors of the FBI, our nation's premier law enforcement organization, have been judges. The most recent director of the US Homeland Security Department, Michael Chertoff, was himself a former judge. And that's because judges have the skill sets required to lead police agencies. In fact, approaching the job as sheriff, uh, simply as a cop, is like having only one piece of the puzzle. We already have many talented, hardworking deputies at the sheriff's department. I know that. I've worked with them for over 10 years. But an arrest by a deputy alone is not enough to put a criminal behind bars. An arrest made by a cop is only the first part of the process. It takes more, because in addition to the arrest, you need to make the case. You need to know criminal procedure. You need to know criminal evidence. You need to know how the judicial system works and what it takes to put criminals behind bars where they belong. You need to know what it takes after the arrest to get a conviction, because if you don't, criminals walk out the door back amongst us in society. By just focusing on being a street cop and making arrests, is like fighting crime with one hand tied behind your back. More than ever in Putnam County, we need a more comprehensive, unified approach to crime fighting. We need a sheriff who knows the entire process and who knows how our court system works, who knows what it takes to get convictions. The sheriff should be somebody who supports the police, who has the leadership and knowledge to lead a police agency. We need a sheriff who will advocate for his deputies to get them the, the equipment, the training, and the resources that they so desperately need to get their jobs done. I'm completely committed to serving as Putnam County Sheriff. Given the fact that I've stepped down as a judge so that I could run for sheriff speaks volumes about my commitment to law enforcement in Putnam County and to public safety in Putnam County. I will use my experience and my knowledge as a prosecutor, as a lawyer, and as a judge to lead our police. There are already 75 cops at the Putnam County Sheriff's Office. We don't need a 76th cop. We need more. We need a tough judge who knows criminal justice, who knows how to lead the police, and who knows how to get convictions. With the kind of rising crime rate that we have, that's the only way that we're going to be safer. As sheriff, I'll use my experience to protect and serve our families and our neighbors, and I will use my experience and my strength to lead our police as the next sheriff. Thank you very much.